This is America Trends. I'm Amy Fuller. Thank you for being with us on the YouTube America TV Network and Biz Talk Radio. So glad to have you. We are joined tonight by Barry Nussbaum of the American Truth Project. We're going to chat about some of the political topics of the day, including, well, we've got William Barr testifying in front of the Senate this week. Um, just it's his confirmation hearing. He's up for AG, Attorney General. He's already served as Attorney General under George H.W. Bush. But he said to senators this week, uh, the U.S. needs a barrier system on its southern border. It's as simple as that. And uh, Barry and I are going to talk a little bit about, you know, Trump is obviously, President Trump has been pushing for border security. And for some reason, Democrats who just years ago said this is very important to have are now saying, no, it's uh, politically incorrect. Right, Barry? What's going on? It was a great idea, Amy, when they hadn't figured out yet that letting in hundreds of thousands and then millions of illegal immigrants would become uh, straight Democrat Party voters. And all of a sudden, all the previous comments from people like Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden and Harry Reid when he was Senate Majority Leader, uh, and, and by the way, Senator and then President uh, Barack Obama, all those comments have been forgotten. Every single one of them wanted border security and a barrier or a wall or a fence or something. All those previous political issues are now changed to, hey, you build a wall, you're a racist. You want to keep people out, you're a racist. You want a barrier instead of an open, what do they call it? The symbol of the country should be the Statue of Liberty, not a wall. Well, then you're a bigot. And everybody forgot what they had said for, what, about two decades worth of their previous political careers. Oh, you nailed it. It's all about the votes. But, you know, people don't like to go back in history and say, well, you know, the Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island, actually there was a process and some people got quarantined. And actually back in the day, they wanted you to have a sort of sponsor, as we call it now, and, and some money. You had to prove you had at some point, $25 was one of the things, to prove that you could get on your feet. To prove that you could come here and be a contributing American and not come here carrying some other flag and us have to worry about your terrorist. So Barry, why do walls work? Is there proof around the world? And I already know your answer. It's <laughs> Israel, Israel, Israel. And that's not the only place. Well, that's, I love the question. And obviously, Amy, you know the answer and everyone that's informed knows the answer. Israel had the same problem that America has, which is, Massive illegal immigration coming in from uh, African countries, number one. And number two, stopping the flow of terrorists bringing in weapons uh, and illegal drugs. They had an acute problem. What did they do? Well, they couldn't interdict enough with people and electronics and drones, which, by the way, is the... Um, Democrat plan. So they built walls. They built walls across the Sinai, and they built walls across the northern border, and they built walls uh, as a barrier between uh, the West Bank and Israel proper on the 1948 Green Line. What happened? Well, it's quite simple, and I see the picture. I've been there, and I've filmed there, and I've talked to Israeli military leaders and government officials and intelligence officials, and they all say the same thing, Amy, <laughs> suicide bombings went down, get this, 99% when the wall sealed up the barrier. Illegal immigration went down in some areas 90%, in other areas 95%. Not with electronics, not with more staffing, not with dogs and jeeps and border patrol, just building a barrier. And as you pointed out astutely, there are walls all over the rest of the world, including, get this, the biggest wall in the Middle East, which separates Jordan from the rest of the Middle East. You want to guess who paid for hundreds and hundreds of miles of wall on the Jordanian border? American Democrats. You know it, babe. The American Congress almost universally, and I mean on a vote that was overwhelming, in favor of it, the United States Congress paid for it. Now, it's okay to protect Jordan from illegal weapons, immigration, and terrorism. But for those same people in the same hall in Congress, it's not okay to protect Americans from terrorism and illegal immigration. Hmm. 
You know, we love immigrants. We love for them to come here through the process, and then we'll keep you safe, too. But exactly. don't jump the border. Don't come here illegally and get started off on the wrong foot, uh, literally. Can we show that border wall again? I mean, Barry, that is some wall. No one's getting over that. And let's just repeat, suicide bombings in Israel down 99%. Look at that. You're not scaling that wall. Yeah, that is not a wimp wall. <laughs> and nobody, and I mean this literally, look, Israel has at any given time 10 to 15 political parties, and they go after each other like it's a gang fight. Uh, you think the Republicans and the Democrats go at each other. Israel uh, makes the United States look like um, a fourth grade class. They're so aggressive. Everybody in Israel supports the wall. Why? Because it works. You know, some years ago, I sat down with Netanyahu for actually quite a long uh, talk. Oh, and cool. what, he cool. said, what he said at the time was that he wanted a wall all along the Gaza border, all along the Sinai border, all along the northern border with Syria and Lebanon, and between the uh, West Bank and Israel proper. But he said quite um, prophetically at the time, Amy, that the one thing a wall won't do is stop a missile or a rocket or a grenade from going over it. Now, thank God we don't have that problem on our southern border with Mexico. If we do just what Israel did, or get this, just what the United States did in Jordan. <laughs> For Jordan, right. <laughs> we'll stop 99% of the problem. Why won't we do it? I've never, ever heard anybody give me an answer to this. You don't lock your doors at night because you hate the people on the outside. You lock your doors at night because you love the people on the inside. Oh, and yet, every one of these leaders, Amy, I'm talking about the Democrats now, yeah, yeah. because I think that's where the hypocrisy is, has a wall around their estate. And I mean, Nancy Pelosi, Barack Obama, John Kerry, Hillary Clinton, it's all over. Well, Barry, you know what happened Monday is Laura Loomer, a pro-conservative uh, journalist, independent journalist. She led a bunch of illegal immigrants. She says they're illegal. Uh, and they jumped Nancy Pelosi's mansion wall and demanded entry into her home. They pulled a little stunt on Nancy Pelosi Monday. The DailyCaller.com has it. And uh, so that's sort of rich. And then you've got, you know, the, the hula boo last week was the one San Diego local station that uh, told CNN, well, you want a reporter to go report for you at the border wall? We'll tell you what the border security people already tell us, Customs and Border Patrol and ICE, that the wall works. And then CNN said, no thanks. So when you say, why? I feel like we're being gaslighted and we're sitting here having these inane conversations of, of why the wall works or won't work because the Democrats are just, again, gaslighting us because they're trying to kick the can down the road and, and allow more voters in for them. Um, 20 seconds to respond, Barry, and we'll hold you over. I can't agree with you more. I know Laura Loomer quite well. She literally threw it right in Nancy's face. <laughs> Everything is great. Bring everybody in. Just don't involve me because those people are bad people. Wow, what hypocrisy. And Nancy used to give speeches all the time for a wall. <laughs> Barry Newsbaum, the American Truth Project. You are with America Trends, and we're going to be back after these messages. Guess who's back